Hello friends, you are on the channel Quotes of Great Men. Enjoy watching. There is no greater burden on a child than the unlived life of a parent. It is as if the eyes of the background do the seeing in an impersonal act of perception. The collective unconscious contains the whole spiritual heritage of mankind's evolution born anew in the brain structure. Unlived life is a destructive, irresistible force that works softly but inexorably. If you marry the order to the chaos you produce the divine child, the supreme meaning beyond leaning and meaninglessness. Mostly, they are deceptive sweetenings of existence, like spear communications which unpleasantly accelerate the tempo of life and leave us with less time than ever before. Omnis vestinatio ex part diaboli est, all haste is of the devil as the old masters used to say. We cannot be resolved of any doubt save by experiment. Culture lies beyond the purpose of nature. What am I to do here? In fact, the terrors that stem from our elaborate civilization may be far more threatening than those that primitive people attribute to demons. No language exists that cannot be misused. It is hard to realize how badly we are fooled by the abuse of ideas. It even seems as if the unconscious had a way of strangling the physician in the coils of his own theory. All the higher grades of science, imagination and intuition play an increasingly important role over and above intellect and its capacity for application. All these guiding principles in therapy confront the doctor with important ethical duties which can be summed up in a single rule, be the man through whom you wish to influence others. What you call knowledge is an attempt to impose something comprehensible on life. A work of art must relate something that does not appear in its visible form. No one has any obligations to a concept. That is what is so agreeable about conceptuality. It promises protection from experience. Unfortunately, there is no doubt about the fact that man is, as a whole, less good than he imagines himself or wants to be. Everyone carries a shadow, and the less it is embodied in the individual's conscious life, the blacker and denser it is. White men project onto the Negro the primitive drives, the archaic powers, the uncontrolled instincts that they do not want to admit in themselves, of which they are unconscious, and that they therefore designate as the corresponding qualities of other people. Historically, it is chiefly in times of physical, political, economic and spiritual distress that men's eyes turn with anxious hope to the future and when anticipations, utopias, and apocalyptic visions multiply. We don't so much solve our problems as we help grow them. Such a revolution of one's world, and of the world in general, through its shadows ahead. Go not outside, Truth dwells in the inner man. 
the world comes into being when man discovers it. But he only discovers it when he sacrifices his containment in the primal mother, the original state of unconsciousness. Projections change the world into the replica of one's own unknown face. We are still a long way from understanding what it signifies that nothing has any existence unless some small and no, so transitory consciousness has become aware of it. Shadow work is the path of the heart warrior. I don't need to believe. I know God exists. The man with the persona is blind to the existence of inner realities, just as the other man without a persona is blind to the reality of the world, which for him is merely the value of an amusing or fantastic playground. A man may be convinced in all good faith that he has no religious ideas, but no one can fall so far away from humanity that he no longer has any dominating representation collective. The psychological effect of the statistical world picture, it displaces the individual in favor of anonymous units that pile up into mass formations. He would have lived countless times over the life of the individual, of the family, tribe and people, and he would possess the living sense of the rhythm of growth, flowering and decay. There are so many indications that one does not know what one sees. Is it the trees or is it the woods? Expressionism and art prophetically anticipated this subjective development, for all art intuitively apprehends coming changes in the collective unconsciousness. Slavery and rebellion are inseparable correlates. Hence, rivalry for power and exaggerated distrust pervade the entire organism from top to bottom. Those who look outside, dream. Those who look inside, awaken. Archetypal images decide the fate of man. I have always tried to make room for anything that wanted to come to me from within. Thanks for watching. Check out these educational videos too.